Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. I am Cincinnati Man. I'm here with my sister. Hi. Um, we are talking about Raising Canaan, epi- uh, episode five, um, season t- three. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, Brothers and Keepers. Um, let's start on a positive note. Okay. There's not many positive notes. I here. know. I was going to say, where are you going to go? <laughs> um, I'm glad Jukebox is finding herself. And she's comfortable with herself. Uh-huh. And uh, I, I, that's about as far as the happiness goes. Because um, my yeah. thing is, it's like, I didn't want to, like, I thought she was going to have a friend instead of a, 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 a attraction. And it was like, of course. It was too, I'm just saying, written narratively, it was just too easy. It was like a layup. It was like, of course. It was like, well, oh. I don't know. I don't know. If- no, because she was looking salty. She was like, man, I might like her. And I was like, well, you, you messed up. You shouldn't have said what you said to Katie because Katie a dog. Well, maybe she felt that Aisha wouldn't be receptive to that. She maybe did. she. I, you know, I, you know Aisha I don't know. Is, Aisha's a young, dumb, dumb um, little girl. Yeah, you sound like Crystal now. <laughs> and she probably. Like, that will be interesting, even though you can't tell me nothing about the future. I can't trust you because when I say stuff, I be I got to monitor what you say because you anyway, I might accidentally leak something. Um, Marvin was all giddy, like, "Oh, look at my daughter get to talk to a girl." That was funny. He, he was like, Ooh. "When he did that, I was like, <laughs> this guy's a good actor. This this guy is really good at just putting random stuff in there." Um. You know what's great? You know what's, you know what's amazing? They said they there's a there's a phrase that got attributed to a, a, a to the wrong person. Nobody knows who actually made this mm-hmm. phrase up, but the definition of insanity is to do it over and over again. Because sometimes people put it over like Einstein or somebody, yeah. and supposedly he didn't even say that. That's what Lou doing. That's what Lou, that's what Lou's doing. Lou now, has a dream. Hey, okay. hey, Lou, hey, Lou. First, Lou had Camacho that did have music ties, but he owed everybody. Now he has no music ties. All, the only time Lou got the music is beating up that DJ to get his stuff, <laughs> his stuff put on the radio every once in a okay. while. Okay, okay, he's trying to figure it out. How he many t- of these music execs had somebody in their corner, and they knew what they were doing at all times? He's trying to figure it out. Okay, I'm about to say, I mean, depending on how hev- how how level high level of uh, executive you are, like if you you know, he I part- mean, like when they first started out, like I'm sure I hate to use this. In- at this as an example, but I'm sure Diddy didn't know what he was doing. First of all, there's a difference. You see, you don't even know the history of Diddy. I don't want to. Yeah, Diddy started out at the bottom. It's a dark history. Oh, okay. Look, we can't go there. Look, quit mentioning Diddy. We ain't mentioning Diddy the rest of the season. Stop it. It's fine by me. I know. Stop it. See, you see, look, you got that's a you did it on the last episode. Diddy, Diddy, this, Diddy, that. You, of course, okay, Suge Knight. <laughs> no, that's why? an even worse example. Suge Knight started out as a bouncer. The only person that started okay, out, that's the only person close. that you get, the only person you really can point to, well, a couple people, but Easy E was a drug dealer there that you go. backed everything. Birdman supposedly was in the streets like that too. Allegedly, we don't know. I think he says it too. I'm just saying, just be safe. Anyway, oh um, I'm just sick of it. I'm Why? over it. He, have, he has a dream. You know, he's in the jazz club. He's like, it's about to be hip hop, dude. I had to remind you when Lou walked in, there were two rappers on stage as an open mic. Look, so, you got Jamie Lee Curtis. She drunk behind the bar. She don't know what she's doing. She's just letting anybody up there. Hey, we ain't had no jazz in a while. So go, what's go, the difference in Lou being in there? What? What's the difference in Lou being in there? Exactly. There's all the all the business was going downhill. It's going to go downhill far, faster. I don't know. It seemed um, like it was a lot of people in the club on that day. Can, some, can we please? I cannot wait when Juliana gets taken out. She is walking around like everybody ain't. She, uh, yes. Uh, you own a bodega. You don't own the Four Seasons. Let's relax. Mm-hmm. Um, I am loving. I, look, look, it ain't bad. It ain't poorly acted. I just hate it because it's acted so well. Mm-hmm. Rock, F Rock. I'm tired of this. How dare y'all not? Have, nobody here for me. You pushed everybody away. You try to get rid of Marvin. Marvin ended up coming back because you tried to cut him loose. He came back and saved you in the previous season. I mean, that's in every family. Then, you then cut Luke, somebody loose and they come back. And then I ain't never been cut loose. So I don't know. So anyway. Well, you see. Well, I'm undefeated. Hmm. Never, never been loose. Wait. Pause. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Uh- <laughs> um. So 
um, she got mad at Lou when he was trying to be out, and she threatened like you in, and she did the same thing to Kanan. She set up Lou to be always under her when she bought the bought the thing. The only difference is her dumb ass is like, I'm gonna get my son back by putting him in harm's way, being taken away by the state. That's the stupidest plan I don't think ever. She thought that all the way through. Especially how she was talking to the to the dang um child service lady. No doubt. Right, right. Man, you know how kids be. They be out. You never know what kids up. Fool. The, the, the principal literally told you unsupervised visits. This episode, she's like, so when you coming around again? They really showing how she's trying to catch a slipping. <laughs> no, they really showing how like dumb of dumb of a plan this is. Seriously. She's she's really just going off the CD for CD repair. Like, whatever. Oh, uh, how many visits do I get? As many as many as we do in a year. Oh, well, yeah. I would have questions too. Like, yeah, how, no, many, but, how many but, times but are you they, come to they my would, house? They would have already. Yeah, but the way she asking them is like almost kind of like by accident. So anyway, Kanan, get out the house, man. Yeah, go to the boys, all boys, the boys thing, man. Like I'm tired. Yeah, get away from your mama. Well, if he would have went to that school in the first season, none of this would have happened with between him and Rock. No, he wouldn't be making money. That's what you mean. He making money now. If Is it worth it? He will have to kill Famous. Either going to kill Famous, beat him up, and make him say, and, and, and exile him. Like, don't you ever? I don't ever want to see your face again. I'm serious. Famous is the reason the mama put the gun in there. He didn't tell him. Famous is Famous not is the, the reason, reason she put it. No, in no, there. no. Famous is the reason he was he didn't help his boy out beforehand. That's inexcusable. Still, you ain't, hey, I am going to school. Cool. You gonna tell you about the gun in the back? Nah. Anyway. Famous lost the money again. He lost the money. Luckily, Howard got it back. Now. He always loses money. Well, then that's on Kanan for giving it to him. Then, if he knows that he couldn't trust Famous, why do it? Why trust him again? Okay, I agree with you on that. He just trying. He just trying to be like, look, man, you an idiot. Let's see if you can do better. Obviously, that don't make sense then. <laughs> hey, same thing. It don't make sense with Lou doing. Oh, last thing I'll say: if Rock don't beat up them cops. I wouldn't touch another. I'm cop. so tired of you this. You already saw she tried to take out one. Cop Those beat cops is different. It's nah, different. it didn't work. They gonna have, no. What they are gonna have to do is open up something somewhere else and let them talk all crazy like that and get them on tape. Yeah, but they're talking in code. So. Yeah. Okay. Um, I ain't. I'm. 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 I'm furious. I'm tired of it. Oh, Howard. Somebody take Howard out. Him. Oh, is what's there, Howard? Okay. I have no. A there's nobody I like. I was gonna say. I like Marvin, but I know Marvin. Marvin too happy now. He dead. Marvin is having the time of his life. He's like he's all smiling and happy. He got to find another connect for for his uh, Manhattan stuff. Oh uh, yeah, because Dean. But, um, Lou is is just being hard headed. I'm gonna get this right. Hopefully you do. They say people fail many businesses. So hey man, you are you you have nobody has confidence in you. Raquel. I don't care about Rock because she she did that dirty stuff to Kanan. That brings pressure. That no, that brings attention to her family situation, which is bad. She didn't never want no cops around. She didn't want putting the cops and and the government on her. Um, Jukebox, I'm, I'm yeah. It's like it's weird seeing her act like a, a non tomboy at times, and uh, you know whatever. Like like she don't she don't bother me nearly much as she used to. You know, it used to be way more. Um, their mama is trash. She was all high and mighty. That one episode in the church, and he find out she's yeah. like, Rock ain't never sent me money. What about me? And she sounds just like you said. She, she sounds just like Rock. Yeah. What about taking care of me? And then Lou put that money down. I'm like, give me the money. I need money. Give me a billfold. I'm tired of seeing all this random money being exchanged. And I was mad when Lou, Jamie Lee Curtis, didn't drink that drink. Lou's like, oh, I ain't drinking no more. She's and like, I had to remind you that Lou is an alcoholic. Well, so. I'm not. <laughs> I'll take two shots of Jim Bean. I am not. I will take two shots of Jim Bean, please. Mm. So, ain't anything you want to add? Unique. He, ain't, I, I don't know why you like Ronnie. I'm. A, I keep saying it. I don't like him. The character every, is intriguing. Every time you see him, you like ooh. No, I don't. No, not ooh. Like attractive. Like ooh, he about to do something crazy. Like, ooh, he be smiling like, oh, this dude. I, like, I keep saying, I laugh. Like, crazy of, man, crazy man here, everybody. I laugh because of the memes. that Also. I, you haven't seen them because you don't want any spoilers. Spoilers. So, I'm laughing off of that. I'm going to need Unique to rise up like The Undertaker. I'm going to need him to stand straight up. 
Cause I don't think he did. I can't. I still can't believe he did. Cause, cause they they showed him, but it was mm-hmm. weird. Cause he hit. He, people get hit by pipes every day. That many times. Sometimes. I don't know. I never hit nobody with a pipe. I got hit with a baseball bat before, in the head. That was. Oh, well, this is random. Traumatic. Who, who we got beat up? <laughs> no, nah, it was in the fourth grade. It was an accident. Who do we have to beat up? I think I saw you when I was walking to the office, but I was. I mean, how many years ago? Eddie, Eddie, no, I mean, up? like, I saw you, but I was headed to the office, so I couldn't talk to you. <sighs> this is getting out of hand. Okay, I'm Cincinnati, man. Uh, I, I, can't, I can't say it. I'm not going to say R.I.P. Unique. I'm not. I refuse to believe he's dead. I wanted Unique to get his own series. I was hoping wow. that he was going to get so ingrained in the heroin tra- trade that he was oh. going to lead the city and venture, venture out. Ain't know where he's gonna end up? Where? In Seattle. That's random. <laughs> and he would be handing um all the musicians their their heroin. Kirk Cobain, all of them getting heroin from Unique. Think about that. That'd be crazy. Hmm. Yeah, you ain't see that. Yeah. No, I did not see that coming. Well, y'all have a good one. On to the next one. All right. Bye. That'd be crazy. That's what I, man, you know. You, out I'm, there with Frazier. They, they can't, yeah, up there, hey, 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 Frazier. You know you, that came back? Yeah, I ain't, I ain't I'm watching. not feeling the only, it. The only, the only thing I don't like about this, I saw the blue, I saw the thing in it, in it and they, I remember when it was younger, they made, under Frazier, they made the son not as smart as everybody. Mm-hmm. And to see him, like, being like an HVAC looking dude, like, like just, mm-hmm. it made me like, y'all didn't have, he could have been, he, why can't he be like a regular team? Why do you have to make it be like, well, he's a bus driver. No, no, just something where you're like. I stopped really watching Frazier when um. What's the guy his left? Brother, and. Oh, hooked up. Yeah. Daphne. Daphne. And, okay. Um. Niles got together. It's about power. This is about power. Oh, we talking about Seattle drug dealing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs>